so we went to the Fall 19 Jason Wu presentation and it was in Soho. There were gorgeous and beautiful flowers from Putnam and Putnam and it was just, the collection was so gorgeous. It was feminine, it was light and airy, and it had a lot of movement. There were feathers and all the different details, which is what Jason is all about. And the color palette was gorgeous. It was reds and pinks and... Lush, mm -hmm. sheer, red carpet ready, just breathtaking, it really was. And then later we went to the Kiara Boney show because that is a great brand for mom's clients. So what did you think about yes. that? Yeah, Kiara Boney La Petite Robe. It is a collection of wonderful pieces, mainly dresses, but now she's going into jumpsuits and tops and skirts and things like that. And they definitely, she knows how to make a uh, woman's figure look very sexy but classy and beautiful and um, the show was so much fun. She did these fabulous big hats and she had this French song playing about La Petite Robe and that was really fun and lots of women all dressed up to come to the show that are probably her um, her followers basically the ones and a lot of TV personalities wear her dresses too because they're a lot of them are solid colors but they really they're tight but they're not tight in a bad way they're body fitting body conscious sort of so um, I thought it was really fun some things are aspirational and kind of way out there and fabulous but this is a brand for sure that these are the pieces that I will be putting in on my clients in the fall so that was great Okay, and then we also went to the Amir Tagi presentation for Fall 19, which we went to the Spring 19 one last season that was extremely colorful. And this season, the pieces, we are obsessed with the color palette. It was a lot of reds and greens and houndstooth and really fun fabrics and patterns. And it was at the Bowery Hotel. I first met Amir at the Vogue Forces of Fashion conference and we have been friends ever since and he worked at Monse and so he has gone out on his own and started his new brand and so inspiration for the collection came from some fabric that was in his house in Texas and yes and he's also Persian so they made they remade the fabric from the house and it's very interesting what the pieces that Delia gravitates toward and the pieces that I gravitate toward or the mini skirt, the full dress of smocking with the velvet ruffle that was just gorgeous would be beautiful on her but then he also made it a very wearable collection so he does have some men's suiting but it has a very interesting sleeve loosely based on the leg of mutton sleeve from centuries ago that people are doing but not too not too girly. It's just not puff sleeves. It's just very dramatic, but simple, lovely, um, lovely collection. So we're very excited for him. Yes, and then after, as seems to be tradition during Fashion Week, we went to Jin Soon for Manny Petties and had a complete blast. Yes, which was really lovely because my husband Mitch was sweet enough to call and get us a special gift certificate for an early Valentine's Day present since he knew we were going backstage with Jen Soon for the Tibby Show. So last night we went and got our nails done and he was shocked that we didn't have bright colors or glitter on our nails because it was fashion week. But I explained to him that because every day we're wearing different color palettes, there's not really one color that would work. So we go very um, sort of sheer and neutral for our fingernails at least. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to talk about the difference in Fashion Week this time and last time. So last time, at the beginning, I was reaching out and I was still at Barney's. So I would say I'm on the buying team at Barney's. My mom and I have started this company and we are asking if we could go to the show or, or have a market appointment or presentation. And this time, we're a season past that. And we're so excited because we are getting great responses. A lot of people from last time, once you're on the list, then you get invited again. And when we are going to these presentations, 
and shows, even if we didn't have a market appointment, the people are saying, oh, well, make sure to come back and have you scheduled a market appointment. And also, last time, every single appointment we had to, that we would come in and they would say, now, who are you? Right. And kind of, why are you here? And so it was exhausting having to explain in every single appointment, feeling like you're going up against the army to say, this is who we are and why we're here. And this time, people know, they're so excited that we're there, they're asking us back, they're asking us to host events. So we are really honored and pleased. Yes, most definitely. So much fun. show today for fall winter 19 we always love getting to see Jen soon she does the nails for the Tibby show and so basically a little bit before the show the hair makeup and nails people get together with the stylist and the designer and they decide on the, the makeup and the beauty looks based on the theme of the collection. So we talked to both Jinsoon and the hair stylist about upcoming trends. So go to our IGTV videos to learn about that. And Aveda always does the hair, Bobby Brown makeup, and Jen Soon the nails. And we got to see Amy Smilovic, who is the founder of the brand. She was backstage too. And it's this crazy hustle and bustle with the models getting ready. And usually their hair, makeup, and nails are getting done at the same time because they're in a rush. And then all of a sudden, everyone has to go to rehearsal, and models are coming to and from shows, and they're trying to grab a bite to eat and people are trying to interview them. I mean, it's a really crazy, mad time, but we're so excited to get to give you the backstage access and the scene of that. So much fun. And next we're headed to Robble's show, so we're so excited about that. Yes, and he's a relationship that we are continuing to grow. We are obsessed with him and his collection and his designs. What's happening? They're fall. fall. Thanks. Waiting in line. So excited. Going to Bravo. I do like that. 
Moana. You see? Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah. Or F. Right here. wonderful time at the Bravo Grunge show. It's always a great celebration. The music is upbeat and this collection for fall, he concentrated, he took us on a trip back to the 1970s in a globe trotting kind of way that had the story of different cultures intertwined. The show was special in that it was diverse in color and size and in men and women. He's now showing men's as well, and this collection for men's was especially vibrant and wonderful, I thought. So there was a twist on the 1970s, like I said, which seems to be going on at a lot of these shows and presentations, which is an era that I actually love, and I'm thrilled that people are borrowing from that era and making it a very modern vibe. As usual, Pravel is spreading his message, and one that we believe in strongly, of inclusivity, kindness, and integrity. So overall, we felt like it was a very special, brilliant show. And so you walk in and there it's very colorful. So I feel like everyone was enthusiastic and excited and they just could not wait to see what was about to come down the runway. And it's very interesting how each group is kind of in a section. So the editors are over here and the retailers are over here and then sometimes influencers are over here. Yes, and sometimes the retailers are across from each other, so it's kind of the battle of the stores. And some of my favorite pieces were there were feather pieces everything was so light and airy Bella Hadid was in the show and Winnie Harlow and Ashley Graham just rock star models <laughs> Posting over there. Those are cute on you. Okay, do some things. Do what things? I don't know. <laughs> what are we doing? Is this it's a, this is a video. Am I live? <laughs> That happened the other day. It's funny. I was like, oh, we can edit that. She goes, no, we're live. <laughs> 
how we're about two thirds, maybe, the way of through our day today. And we are headed now, it's about five o'clock, we're headed to the Veronica Beard presentation. So that will be really fun to see what they, the two Veronicas, have planned for fall 2019. And then after that, at seven tonight, we have a show for Anna Swee. We're excited to see what she's doing for fall as well. Tomorrow, it is predicted between three and five inches of snow, so who knows if Fashion Week will go on or what. Stay tuned to find out.